We're going to start with an opening talk from David Casey, the director of Funding the Commons, and then also Beth McCarthy, the program director of Funding the Commons. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll pass it off to them. Hi, um, thank you everyone for joining us today. I just wanted to say a few words of gratitude toward um, our uh, partners that we've been coordinating this day with, uh, especially Hiro, uh, Taka, and Shinya um, from Florality Tokyo and Desai Tokyo. It's been really a pleasure learning about um, all that is going on in y'all's community about um, funding public goods, thinking about philosophical approaches that have been really inspiring to us, and yeah, really looking forward to a day of um, yeah, rich talks among people that uh, are doing really important work. So thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, good morning everybody. So I'm David and I will give you a bit of a brief history of funding the commons and how we got here today. So Funding the Commons was incubated by a company called Protocol Labs back in 2021. Protocol Labs is the same team behind the Filecoin blockchain network and IPFS, the Interplanetary File System, amongst other open source public goods such as libp2p as well. Uh, Funding the Commons has happened 10 times, including uh, two times virtually during COVID and eight times physically in the real world. Uh, the event has brought uh, over 2,000 of you together around the world, across Asia, Europe, and the Americas. And uh, we bring together builders, funders, academics, and uh, increasingly the public sector, national, international, and municipal, uh, to discuss and develop and prototype new models in public goods funding. So what is the focus of Funding the Commons? We are building an incubation ecosystem for public goods funding infrastructure. In other words, we are looking at uh, and partnering with developers, builders, and protocol devel protocols, developing public goods funding infrastructure, uh, matching them with funders, both philanthropic and venture, and looking at how we can create a flywheel effect of developers building the infrastructure and using that very same infrastructure to run funding through it to fund more developers. Uh, we do this through a series of events, hackathons, residencies, and conferences like this one here today, as well as uh, more and more funding experiments, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, first, I'll go through where we've been in the last couple of years. So in 2023, our first flagship event was in Paris at Sorbonne University. Uh, we did a virtual hackathon, fun public goods hackathon following that. We ran a month long live work residency for open source public goods builders in Berlin. And we ran Funding the Commons Berlin together with the DSI Berlin team. So this is not the first time we're working together with the decentralized science community. Actually in Paris as well in 2023, uh, the DSI team ran, DSI Paris team ran a series of, of workshops. Uh, we worked with a team called Deepact in Istanbul uh, to run a Funding the Commons pop-up mini event. And our final event last year was Funding the Commons Taipei, uh, which was together with the Dow Zero crew, which I saw here yesterday actually. So looking forward into 2024, we started in the San Francisco Bay Area, my hometown. Uh, we ran our first conference of this year uh, just now in April. Uh, we're here in Tokyo, and our final conference of the year will be in Bangkok in November, immediately preceding uh, Ethereum DevCon. Something that I'm really excited about this year is launching something called the Commons Fund. And the Commons Fund is something we were dreaming of back during my time at Protocol Labs, uh, together with uh, Protocol Labs founder Juan Benet, Evan Miyazono, who used to run Network Goods there, which was the public goods team at Protocol Labs. And the vision was to develop a fund 
uh, to fund builders of public goods funding infrastructure. So finally, we are starting to do that. Uh, just went through the events, uh, the conferences. So we'll also mention that we're running a hackathon later this year. So stay tuned for that. And there will be uh, prizes and uh, opportunities to connect with sponsors and mentors in the public goods funding space. And we will run a month long residency for builders in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So we're really excited about that. Applications has, have just opened. You can talk to me or any of the other Funding the Commons team members if you're interested in going to Chiang Mai, Thailand for a month and coming and building open source public goods alongside uh, builders, developers, designers from around the world. And finally, we'll close with Funding the Commons Bangkok. Uh, aside from conferences, we've also started doing pop-ups this year, which are essentially mini events or tracks within larger, uh, larger events. We did one June already last month in Sonoma in California at Edge Esmeralda, which is our uh, partner's Edge City. They do uh, events around the world as well. And we'll be joining them in Argentina next month for Edge Crecimiento, um, where there's a really interesting movement uh, from the grassroots all the way to the public sector at the national level in Argentina for innovating in uh, adoption of crypto to solve some of the uh, very acute financial and monetary structural problems of that country. So I mentioned the Commons Fund earlier. This is what we're really excited about introducing to the world this year. Uh, the Commons Fund is meant to fund and innovate and experiment with new blockchain-based public goods funding infrastructure. So we are a, a nonprofit uh, philanthropic fund. It's not venture, it's grants. Um, it's open to applications. We'll also start running things like quadratic funding rounds um, and other uh, experimental funding distributions. Um, and stay tuned about that. We'll be publishing more information in the next few weeks and announcing our first uh, grants. Um, these are some ways you can get involved uh, in our upcoming hackathons, residencies. At these conferences, uh, speaker applications are always open. Um, volunteering, we always need more volunteers. Um, we're always looking for uh, your generous financial contributions and donations that allow this event to exist. And uh, we are open to uh, ideas and uh, grant proposals. If you're building open source public goods funding infrastructure, uh, come talk to us. And thank you for being here. Oh, wait, a little bit more. So first, we're going to thank our partners again, Plurality Tokyo. Desai Tokyo and Fracton. So thanks again. I uh, may have mentioned this before, but I can't reiterate enough that this event could not have happened without our Japanese partners, and we are indebted to them for, uh, for all of this. In addition, uh, I wanted to thank all the sponsors that contributed financially and in other ways to making this event possible. And to all the other organizations that contributed in various ways um, to this community and really beautiful seeing the emergence of the Funding the Commons and public goods community here in Japan. So thank you again. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, David and Beth. And uh, can we give one more round of applause to the Funding the Commons team? And also, I want to give it up for our translators, too, who have been able to allow everybody in this room uh, to get the information and education here that we're giving today. So let's give another round of applause. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, David. Thank you to the whole crew here. Um, OK, so next up, I'd like to invite Taka from Plurality Tokyo to, uh, to, uh, Tokyo to give his opening. And yeah, pass it off to you, Taka. 
All right, all right. So, hey, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Taka from Priority Tokyo. Now, Priority Tokyo is uh, one of the co-organizers co of the funding the commons. Uh, in terms of day two, it means like uh, today, I, I'm in charge of the curating the program and the speaker logistics. So I'm very honored to our opening conference like this. So I, let me introduce about um, background philosophy about that day. So I had a little bit of experience with uh, working with local government. Uh, I was kind of the startup founder as a government technology services. But it was failure. It's hard to make money as a digital public goods. Then um, I find kind of the Ethereum ecosystem. They have their own currency, like our Ether or OP or something like that. They have our mechanism of the taxization as a gas fee or smart contract. So then, for example, like uh, Ethereum Foundation is trying to make the growing the ecosystem as kind of the nation or country. Imagine like uh, almost country has their own currency then, and their own uh, taxation system. Then that could be making the market as an ecosystem. So I feel like our crypto ecosystem kind of the similar structure of the government or governance. So that's the reason why I'm into the crypto industry. Right now, um, I'm uh, running the Priority Tokyo community, which is trying to make the bridging some of the cutting edge of the mechanism uh, from the Ethereum ecosystem to the public sector or local government, something like that. Um, I wish the maybe our half people came from the Japanese and the half people came from the foreigner. So maybe you feel like uh, some of the barrier as a language or uh, like uh, when they're chatting, you ask like, uh, hey, what are you building? So I feel like uh, um, actually what I'm building, I'm not sure kind of, so like kind of, I wish to you guys feel like a frustration to making the communication or gathering like a sharing your management. I think that's okay because this is a, your opportunity to are confusing, to thinking, to sucking like that. So I wish, yeah, you already skinned the game. Like uh, you pay the money for the participate the conference, you pay the time to participate the conference. So don't be nervous about everything. Yeah. So that's the my hope. That's it. Thanks so much.